you guys. Welcome back to another amazing video. Tips and tricks for BeamNG Drive. So, today I'm going to be doing some off-roading stuff and some on-roading stuff. Just mainly stuff about the cars. As most of my other stuff with them. So, first tip or trick, whatever you want to call it, is going to be off-roading. I ain't feeling the best right now, but I am going to try to pump out a video so you guys can have something to watch. So, when you're going off-roading, first of all, you're going to want to find a trail like I'm on. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, jeez, 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 jeez. Come on. Cover it. You see, I'm on a trail right now. First, find a trail. Some of the guys, probably the best bet that you've got. If you want to do some rock climbing, do some rock climbing. If you're doing rock climbing, put a skid plate on your truck. You're definitely going to want that. Also, a lift kit is much, much, much needed. So once you're on your trail, you can go up to the area that you want to climb. Personally, the area I want to climb is right over here. Now, if your area is a bit cautious like mine is, don't be scared. We'll get through it eventually, unless you fall down the hill. Found a nice steady platform. Recover your car. Come back on your lights. And then... Now see, you don't need power. You just need throttle control. Going up hills is pretty easy. It ain't that hard, you just gotta make sure that you're doing it right. Now going down... Going down the whole another piece. We're gonna, gonna get, we're gonna take a nice and easy go down some of these rocks here. So going down, you're gonna want to once again take it slow. Watch your exhaust. You're probably gonna end up losing something during this run. Then go back down here. And then a little bit more of a cautious one. Uh, and this is where the skid plate comes in. You don't want to damage any of your differential or your actual engine or anything. So you want to have a skid plate on. I don't have a skid plate on. Um, I just rolled. So, yeah. But you're going to want to have a roll cage on here just in case you do roll like I just did. I don't have a roll cage on. Like, I'm doing everything wrong right now. Yeah, so, uh... That's how you would operate when in a off-roading situation. And on to the next tip or trick. And final tip or trick, whatever you want to call it, is how to control a car on a raceway. Now, I've been having problems with this one personally myself. But I think I found out the best way to do it. First of all, you're going to want to go in here, set the sport, that allows much better control. I'm probably driving the exact worst car for this because this car has garbage turning. But always slow down on turns. Yes. You're gonna want to take a track car. Now, personally, the one that I like to choose. Now, where is it? Sunburst. Now, everybody has this, so don't worry about mods. Go down here to the track DCT. Now, once you have the track DCT selected, you should be okay. You should be pretty okay. It's a nice car. Has some pretty good handling. And it accelerates pretty good. And you are gonna slide with this thing. As long as you do the whole slow around the corners thing, you should be much better than I am right now. How did me messing up my front bumper mess up my entire tire? Jesus, I'm bad at driving. 
<laughs> I am just bad. Yeah, I would say try to keep it around 70 to 75 when you go around turns. Then leave fast. I'm going on the next one. Try not to drift into it like I did. Even though BMNG is indeed a card game, I feel like the handling of the card is just garbage. But that's just me. I mean, it is kind of a crashing game. Yeah, so just pretty much my tip here is choose a track car if you're gonna go on a track. And choose any car when you go on a gravel raceway. Just may God help you. So yeah, that's pretty much the video. And uh, if you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. It helps me reach more people. Um, if you guys like stuff like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell to make sure that you guys see the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!